Ella. Now, the thought of encountering a hyena at night would definitely send chills down the spine of any ordinary person. But not so for re residents of Harar town in eastern Ethiopia, who to them, feeding the animals is a big business, attracting a lot of tourists. Hyenas roam the streets of the ancient walled city of Harar in eastern Ethiopia every night, seeking scraps of meat to drag to the nearby caves. But residents are not afraid. A family has been chosen by the town to feed the animals, braving hyena bites that are ten times as strong as a human's. Abbas Yusuf, known as Hyena Man, learned to feed the animals from his father, Yusuf Mume Saleh, who fed them for 45 years before passing the job to his son 13 years ago. I inherited this from my father who was doing this for 40 years. I grew up and live with them just like family members. I don't have any fear of them. His work is now an attraction drawing in local and international tourists who come to the city's ancient mosques nestled within its old stone walls. Abbas has given the hyenas names according to their behavior and appearance. Among them are Dabaso or hairy, Tukandili or lazy, and Kala meaning skinny. The hyenas do recognize their names once called by Abbas. <laughs> what my father and brother are doing is very good for everyone. First of all, to promote our country and show that we have a unique culture of caring for animals. I don't know any country that has tamed hyenas and live with them, but we live with hyenas. I lived with hyenas since I was born. My father sometimes favored them more than us. That is why hyenas have a big role in our family. To encourage visitors to trust the hyenas, Abbas feeds them directly from his mouth. The hyenas live in caves outside the city and roam the rubbish dumps also outside the walls. Harar, with a population of 240,000 people, started to expand out of its original wall after 1882 and is now surrounded by modern buildings. <laughs> I'm extremely worried about the expansion of the city because it's beyond my control. I wish the government stops the deforestation and the expansion of new towns. The hyenas are running away and disappearing because they have no habitat. Every year since the 16th century to mark the birth of Prophet Muhammad, the city's residents offer the hyenas porridge mixed with butter and goat meat on the Hakim mountain outside the city, believed to be a holy site because the ancient Muslim leaders of the city are buried there. If the hyenas refuse the sacrifice, people believe the country will have bad luck. Janet Chapia, KTN News.